Do you ever play songs where you have long spells on a minor chord and you kind of wish you could do more or embellish it, make it a little bit more interesting? Well, for me, the minor rundown progression is a fantastic chord progression for those situations. It's a progression full of movement. In a ballad, it can sound very emotive, very melancholic, but also in like a Latin tune, it can sound really funky and interesting. And in today's jazz guitar lesson, I want to show you different ways that you can play the minor rundown and how by placing the note which is falling in different places in the chord voicing can have a real impact on how this progression sounds. Everything you see on the screen is available as a PDF for free, so be sure to check the description for that. Now, on to the lesson. So to begin with, what is a minor rundown? It's when you get a minor progression which falls from the root to the major seven to the minor seven to the six, like like this. So so in there on the D string, it's going C down a semitone to a B, which is a major seven in relation to C, down to a B flat, which is a minor seven, down to A, which is a six. So you get so you get that sound but the minor triad there on the top is staying the same. And this progression goes minor to a minor major seven chord, to a minor seven chord, to a minor six chord. So with each chord change, one note is changing each time and it's falling down C, B, B flat, A. This progression is used in many songs. Uh, the one I covered in my last video, My Funny Valentine. Uh, it's also used in Putting on the Ritz, also things like Stairway to Heaven or Waterloo Sunset by the Kinks. Oh, and Blue Skies as well, that's another good example. So the lesson is structured as follows. I'm going to show you how to do this progression with the roots on the D string, the A string and the E string. Then we'll take a look at placing the notes which are falling on different strings, which you know can have a real effect on the way the chord sounds. And then finally, I'll show you this progression in drop three. Now, why is it useful to know this in all these different places? Well, it all depends on context and how you're using it, where you're using it, because how we position a, a simple four note chord on the fretboard, how the notes are distributed, what strings they're on, which intervals are close together, has a massive impact on the way that chord sounds. Here it is on the D string, so. And you could do that with a whole bar of each, like. beats on each one, one beat on each one for sort of a quick, so one, two, that's a good way to embellish a chord, or with a Latin fill like, let's move this progression to the A string, we do F minor this time, so you go F minor, triad, F minor major seven, seven with the seventh in the bass, and then the sixth in the bass. So we're just using three notes. And this is good for picking, you know, individual like. That's a great way, you can just go. You can do that over the top of a chord or for an intro. Or again, you know, play one, two, three, four, one. That lovely descent. The fall in the bass there. Both of those examples, the notes are falling on the bass string. Now this is gonna get muddy, but this is on the same thing on the E string for C minor. Very muddy, and you know, if I was on my arch top with flat rounds, that would sound even muddier. Now, all of those examples have the fall on the bass string, so the lowest note of the chord. We're going to put them on the top this time. Now, let's put it on the E string, so we're going to go, these are all C minor. And then put it on the B string. string bit of a stretch that last one we don't have to place the note on the top of the bottom of the chord let's put it in the middle so if I put it on the B string just going C B B flat A in the middle it's not as obvious that fall I don't think let's put it on the G string And this progression will work really well in drop three too. So that's minor major seven, then minor seven, then minor six. Quite good for sort of flatten guitar. Or you know, we 
those string rhythm. So some of these are a bit fiddly, these drop threes. So. And then finally on the E string, drop three. Then we've got. So if you had a spell in a song where, say it was like C minor for four bars, like... You could put in, you know... Or even two bars. Like that. So it's quite a cool way to just create a little bit more movement that that maybe, you know, isn't there otherwise. Don't forget over on my website, link in the description to the resources from today. And uh, two other videos for myself you might want to check out that sort of links to some of this stuff. My lesson on the minor major seven chord, because it is a little bit unusual. And also another cool kind of progression, which fours is the Andalusian cadence. Anyway, until next time, you guys take care and see you for my next jazz guitar lesson. Videos uploaded every Wednesday,